Just chuck off the boat, Stella. It's a lot easier. She's got wings. She won't die. She can flap back. Here's the good ship lollipop. Sail away, sail away, sail away. So let's have a look at what missions we've got. We'll start with the requests. So these are the people we have currently on our boat. We have Bruce and Mickey, Stanley and Gustav. Uh, and they all want some form of improvement on their establishment that they are currently residing in. Apart from Stanley, who wants a fucking hage? Does anybody know what a fucking hage is? I'm not going to tell you. If you don't know what it is, I'm not going to tell you. You'll be surprised. You'll just have to keep watching to find out. But we don't have a fucking hage yet. Upgrades wise, we've got a way to go before we have enough glims, which is the sort of currency in this game, for an immense sized boat, not a big boat, an immense sized boat. And Albert, we need a mist cleaner to progress in parts of the map. Who keeps dinging me? Who's dinging me? What do you want? What? Stop with the dinging, I'm talking. What was I saying? Mist cleaner, yes, mist cleaner. To progress to another part of the map, we need the mist cleaner, which we can't get because we need silk fabric. And I don't know where that is yet. We haven't uncovered that, I don't think. Oh, hang on. Um, shenanigans. We need to go to 85165. We have mail. Who has sent us mail? Beverly has sent us mail. Hi there, sweet pea. When you have a chance, can you drop by my apartment in Oxbury? I have a few questions I need to ask you. Bev, all right. Oxbury. All right, love. We can do that. Oh, I forgot we've got cows. I think that's where we left it off last time with the cows. Hello, lovely. What do we do with you? Milk it, of course, Mama. Milk it. Let's do it. A sound effect. <laughs> she can rest easy now. We've, we've emptied the udder. We've got another cow. When did we get so many cows? I don't remember that. But we'll milk you as well. I know. You'll feel better when your udder's empty. There we go. You're welcome. What have we got here? Silk fibre. Now, wait a minute, people. Did I not say I couldn't remember where we needed what silk fibre from? Did I not say something about silk fibre? Yes, look. Silk fabric. We need 22 of them. Right, let's see. If we chuck in... So I'm just going to put one in just to see what we get. Let's loom it. What do we get? Silk thread. So can we put the silk thread in here? I weave the thread. We get... Boom! Let's weave these. While the ship is sailing. Oh, where have we arrived? Right, okay. Let's go see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Hang on. Hang on. Look, the crops need water. I think we've arrived at crates. I think that's what it's telling me. They look like gold shiny crates. Go have a look. Scallops, look at Daff. Look at the cat. Love it. Cats don't like water, you see. I <laughs> love it. But she's standing on a little globey thing so she doesn't get wet. Brilliant. There's something here. Go down. There we go. Ooh, what have we got? Is that a blueprint? A sawmill upgrade. Why has the boat stopped moving? Is it because it's night time? Could be because it's night time. No, we have a right. Ah, oh, okay, I comprende. So the reason we had to go to 85165 was to get said blueprint upgrade. All right, let's find some guest to feed. I think I saw Stanley here. Yes, yeah, Stanley. Bless, he's so cute. I think Stanley's a little boy. He could eat two horses. Could you cook a horse? If I really had to. Would it enter your oven? Not in one piece, no. So what, I've forgotten what he eats. What do you eat, buddy? French fries. He likes breakfast and dessert. He does not like vegetables and fruit. He's so a little boy, isn't he? Will he eat an egg like that? Egg sunny side up? Shall we try it? Am I a champion? could be. Are you a champion? I am now going to eat this breakfast. Enjoy. Sometimes I could not sleep. I had these nightmares. All the people at school were there. My mum and dad were there. Everyone kept shouting, full, full, full. Then I could only see the sky. 
There was wind in my hair. Then I woke up. When I'm scared and I wake up, my bed is always wet. Poor Stanley. Mum doesn't like that. We can't help it, buddy. Oh, hello, we're here already. Hello, Albert. Right, Albert, I need an upgrade, buddy. Now, what did we say we were going to upgrade? Oh, yeah, the misty thing, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was this one. We'll have that, thank you. Beautiful. There's more? Since when? These must have add, been added on. So we've got, we need golden ingots, pine planks, electrum sheet, and a sun baller. Diamonds! We can get diamonds in this game. Ooh, now you're talking my language. We set sail to Oxbury, Oxenbury or whatever the hell it was called, because um, somebody wanted us to do something, didn't they? Here. Right, that's where we're going to go. Scout, get in here. I'm here, what do you want? Mickey loves it. This is exactly up his alley. Don't tell him this, but he wanted to upstage Romeo. You wouldn't know him. He's this guy from the South Shore. He has expensive taste. He has his awful mansion. He would boast around town about his house. Mickey hated him. Listen, you've been doing enough running around. We should go somewhere. Yes, we can get rid of him. Take you out to relax a bit. Let me ask Mickey and think of something. Please let me be able to take them away. Mickey has an idea. And that idea would be, in your own time, apparently there's this place called Grey Mist Peaks. It shouldn't be far from here. Mickey thinks you're, well, we both think you're doing a decent job. Listen, we've been asking a lot from you. You're not wrong. Consider this our treat. A little camping trip for your efforts. I hate camping. I don't know what you guys think about camping, but I'm not a fan of it. Some recognition for your discretion in affairs. We've never actually been camping, but we would do this as a gift for you. Let's go take a look at some rocks and trees and shit. <laughs> Greymus Peaks, new destination. It was wild. What was wild? Hang on, I was talking to you. Come back. I think we may have arrived in Oxbury. We have, let's go. Let's go see Beverly. I can't remember who Beverly is, but let's go see her. She has sent us a letter. Right, where does Beverly live? Hello? Can you give me a hand, neighbor? I seem to have lost my keys again. They can't be that far. If I don't find them quickly, my ice cream will melt. I'll eat it then. Then we'll have quite the mess. Oh, where are those keys? Look at you, you're not even helping. That's because you're talking. Well, you did listen to me ramble on. That's something, sweet pea. You look like you've seen a ghost. Do I? Are you okay? I'm good, thanks. That's too bad. I really wanted to take care of you. That's what neighbors are for, dear. I'd invite you inside, but no keys. Means no couch. That couch is so comfortable. The pillows are just perfectly lived in. More like stepped on, really. I remember Henry and Sarah jumping up and down on that thing. Who the hell are these people? Once at our old house, Henry fell and hit his head on that glass table and knocked himself out and we had to spend six hours in A&E. &E. He was screaming at the top of his lungs. There was blood everywhere. Hmm. On the drive to the hospital, he asked if he was going to die. I couldn't help it. I just started laughing. No, pumpkin, it's going to be fine. I wish I still lived in that house. I had to sell it when David passed away. Plus the kids were all living out of the town by then. It was too big for little old me. And, the, and that lawn. So I've ramble on. Her ice cream is melting and she's lost her keys. Come on, love. I didn't want to break a, sweet, a sweat every Sunday afternoon mowing the grass. The house. Did you know we had it designed? By a professional architect. Is there a point to this? He was quite the sharp dresser. Always dressed in black with a slick looking moustache. I had a bit of a friendly crush on him. Friendly crush? I know, I know. I'm sure if I ran into him, he wouldn't recognize me. Oh wait, is she a new spirit? Or well, maybe he would. He did mention he had a photographic memory. You know what? Maybe I should ring him up. Say something like, Dear Anthony, I would very much like to have the original plans for my old house. I lost them in a recent move and would like to have a copy. Can I come over and pick them up? Aye, aye. 
Wait a minute. Even better. You should go see him. See if he's still as gorgeous as in my dreams. If you come back with bad news, that will save me a trip. His office was somewhere in Hummingburg. I don't know the address. You remember, I lost my purse with my dress book and my mother's brooch. No, I don't. I don't think we've ever met, lovely. Oh, I don't want to think about it. That brooch was all she talked about. Well, don't just stand there. Go asking around in Hummingburg. But do you want your keys or not? With that smile of yours, there's no stopping you. Damn, I've got two pennies in my pocket. I can't reach them. There's no way I'm sticking my hands into his pockets to fish out pennies. I can hear them having fun, crushing together. I can hear you, you copper deviants. Quiet, do you hear them? What do you think they're saying? They're saying, go spend me. Maybe they're laughing at my shirt. I like this shirt. I need some peace and quiet. I don't want my money talking down to me. Well, give it to me then, I'll take it off you. Oh yeah, I don't mind if you don't want your money. It was hot yesterday and it was hot today. It certainly wasn't hot here, that's for sure. My skin is crawling with sweat. I know what's going on out there. You know they're able to control the weather. You know what they can't control, me. I think I'll go take a bath. Go on then, you stink. Oh, sweaty pants. Don't come too close to me, I smell. Oh no, you have a rare disease where I hate... <laughs> where I hate when people talk to me. I, myself, love talking. I sometimes make up words like Bacani, like what a Saito, like frog frog. The last one was just the word frog said twice in a row. Yes, we know. Let's go to Hummingburg then. That might be something to do with the Beverly Quest. Gosh, I've not been here in ages. Hello, is it you I have to talk to? Back off, no time for directions. Is it you? Oh, no, you're the dude with the grey. Yeah, I remember you from before. Yeah, goodbye. You're not a travel agency. I'm not a phone book. Find your friend on your own. Rude. Oh, are you Anthony? You look like you could be Anthony. What? You woke me up. I was taking a rejuvenating momentary nap. Yes, my name is Anthony. I'm indeed a very successful architect. With, might I add, impeccable taste. What can I do for you? Beverly? I've had so many clients over the years. That was Beverly then. I can't possibly remember them all. And again, I've had so many drinks as well. And I can remember them all. Some I enjoyed, some I despised. C'est la vie. Not sure what that means. It means that's life, my friend. But I always thought it was a great way to end a conversation. Oh, you're still here. That usually ends things pretty quickly. As a world-renowned architect, I've had an incredible life. If I stopped to think about every single client, I'd go mad. It's more about the experience than the people, the journey and all that. What? You're starting to annoy me. Nice. Your presence and that awful hat. Ah! The Renaissance called, they need that hat back. Oh, and you're still here. You won't go. It's time for a harmless prank. You know what? I do remember Beverly. Even without a last name or any other meaningful details. Bravo! Stellar job of refreshing my memory. You must have a gift. I can visualise her house now. In my mind. Quick, write this down. Look at that. Clever stuff with the old pen and paper there, Stella. It was an incredibly tall house. Very narrow. It had a massive clock, a clock even. Loud enough to wake the whole neighbourhood. Also, it's all coming back to me. There was hay inside. She wanted a real barn feel to her house. Humans being animals and such. It was quite the unique project. Well then, that's all I could remember. The mind is a mysterious bedfellow. Well, I'm going to shut my eyes now and take another small nap. So we've got a blueprint for Beverly's farmhouse. Now I'm assuming Beverly is the spirit that we are going to pick up as we go back to wherever we're going. What do we need to build Beverly's farmhouse? Maple plank, got loads of that. So where can we stick Beverly? She can go next to Bruce and Mickey. There you go. It's too high though, you can imagine jumping up and down that ladder all the time. Beverly, you can live next to the orchard. Beverly now has a house. And I presume we go back to see Beverly. Let's go see this lady then, who I think is going to be joining us on the boat. 
Sweet pea. You did what? What a treat. I can't wait to see how you replicated my old house. It won't be filled with memories, but we'll make some new ones. Oh, sweet pea. You went above and beyond. More importantly, how was it? How was Anthony? Did he still have that spark? Mm, yeah, not really. That certain je ne sais quoi. Oh, you know what? Don't tell me. Okay, I won't. I'd rather see him for myself. Your words won't do him justice. Well, they might. They might, you know. You remember my friend from back home, Carol? The one with four kids? The one who had that car accident? Carol. She would always talk about her crushes. She would go on and on about these Greek gods. And then in person, they were all shaped like celery <laughs> and had bad posture. They were nothing to write home about. Carol had the wrong taste in men. Her husband was not the cat she claimed he was. Enough about Carol and her poor choices. We should go see Anthony. I'll bring you along to chaperone this little escapade. Brilliant. Oh, she's already on the boat. She's not messing about. Come on then, love. Let's take you back to the boat. Yes, they've all come to meet her. Look, they're so welcoming, these people. Sweet Pea, stay back. She's going to transform into... Da -da -da. Where is she? Oh, down here. Wow, that was something else. What is it? I haven't felt this alive in years. Before we go for a little adventure, I should take a look at that house. Oh, where is she? What does she look like? What is it? Well, this is the house that we've built. Where is she? Is she an owl or something? Oh, I'll give her Daff a little cuddle. That's nice. Where is the new leaf? Oh, here it is. Oh, it is. Look, it's a little birdie. It's a Look, it's tiny. Oh, that's so cute. Stella, what is this? This isn't my old house. Oh, uh, you see, Anthony played a joke. This is a dump. Have you ever seen a house before? It looks like a kid's drawing of a house. It looks like a dog made it. Well, that's just rude. Get off my boat. Get off my boat. Is this a joke, Stella? If it is, it's not a good one. I'm mortified that you would want me to live in this. That you think this was my home and my children's and my husband's. We lived in a cosy little farmhouse. I know this was years before I moved to the city and you and I met, but this is just a giant clock with some leftover hay inside. I, I, I know you tried your best, but this is a mistake. I can't stay here. I can't go on with you. Especially with that as my house. And on top of that, I can't believe Anthony gave you the wrong plans. I need to go back to Oxbury. Oh my god. Well, fly. You've got wings. Fly. Really? We have to go back to Oxbury? Is she serious? Just chuck her off the boat, Stella. It's a lot easier. She's got wings. She won't die. She can flap back. Is it night time? Better not be night time. It is, isn't it? Flipping egg. Sleep till morning. Let's take the ungrateful bird back to... I can't sleep either. What's going on? Can't sleep. Can't... Where? Where? What? What should... Are we waiting for her to catch up? Is that what we're doing? Why don't you come and see Anthony now we're here? Look at her. Come on, love. I've got all day. Chop, chop. Is that what we're doing? We're going... We're going to... We are. We're going to see Anthony. All right. We're not going back to Oxbury. We're going... To, where are we going? I don't bloody know anymore. Sweet Pea. Don't, don't call me Sweet Pea. I hope you'll consider making it up to me. My old home was very important. To make sure there isn't any more confusion, here is what it should look like. We lived on a farm. There was nature all around us. We've got hay. We had dogs and goats running around everywhere. It was a quaint little farmhouse. It wasn't run down. It had character. It was big enough for the whole family. Better? That should be as clear as day. I hope it'll be right this time. And chin up, sweet pea. It's only a setback. As you know, I'm allowed to be bossy because I'm very old. I would drop kick her into the ocean. 
Now we've got to go build her a farmhouse. Do I get my resources back? We need a clear glass sheet. Let's go do that then. So do I destroy what I've just built? Oh, it's tiny. Cool. So that might actually fit here. Perfecto. Yes, no, we... Yeah, that'll do. Oh, will it go down here? It will. Beverly's old. She can't... She can't climb very much. She can live down there. It took her forever to get from one end of the boat to the other. Hello, Beverly. Oh, I'm sorry. I just landed on your head there. You all right, love? Are you here to apologise about the house? No. I'm not going to apologise. No. Good. You have nothing to be sorry about. The real culprit here is obviously Anthony. He might be a professional architect, but he's an amateur record keeper. He's also a scumbag who played a prank on you. If he thinks that house was for my family, then he must think very little of me. What a joke. He's heard the last of me. Men. Who needs them? Well, then, let's go aboard. I can't wait to see my house. The right one, that is. Let's go then. Come on. Oh, no, she's in her house. Wake up. Oi. It's asleep. Wake her up. Wake up. Where's she gone now? There we go. Nice job. Oh, wow. You really pulled out all the stops. I knew I could count on you to build me this house. It took more tries than I imagined, but that's all right. Having you around is quite the treat. My kids just don't like, don't come as often as I'd like. They're busy with their own lives. I'm just not part of theirs anymore. Oh, Beverly, that's really sad. Well, that's what neighbours are for. I'm glad you moved in upstairs. Did we? You've always been a helping hand and you and Daffodil are so quiet. That's what makes you such a great listener. Oh, so this could be our neighbour from a real life before we became the spirit fairer and now she's dead. Well then, let me get settled in. That house and I need some time to reconnect. Gustav just landed on her head. Watch where you're going there, Gustav. There's a tiny little bird around now. Watch where you put your feet. A good night's sleep in my old bed will do me wonders. We'll talk soon. All right, oh, we got an oboe. Fabulous. Most fabulous. So is she done now? She is. She is done. I wonder, with Stanley, before we um, end, can I give him this? Well, Stanley, I know you're hungry. Here we go. Stop talking then. Stop talking. If I give you one of them. An egg. Yes. That doesn't sound right. Oh, you don't want an egg? That's not an egg. It's not an egg? That's a fucking age. There we go. That's what my mum calls them anyways. Any time I would walk into the kitchen during breakfast and start playing, she would say, Stanley, don't touch that fucking age. He thinks that's what it's called. She was mad sometimes. It wasn't my fault, I swear. His mum sounds horrible. Big hat. You're bored. Stanley is bored. What do you have to do around here? Loads, mate. There's loads. Do you have anything dangerous? Yes. Something that might cause explosions? Yes. You are an adult, right? If I'm with an adult, I can do dangerous things. I say we add a place to try some cool and possibly dangerous experiments. Oh, yeah. Come on. What have we got to do now? I'm thinking that it's alive. Talk to Stanley. Dude, we were talking. What are you run off for? We were talking, buddy. Oh, you built it already. I did. What's that? I built it already, buddy. A cellar. That's what, a cellar? You put things in there and then... You wait? That's it. Afraid so. Oh man, that is so boring. Not at all what I had in mind. I'm so disappointed. It's a night for it. Everybody's disappointed tonight in, with the spirit fairer, it would seem. I want fires and explosions. Poof. What will I do now? This is so stupid. Oh, we've got to give him the chicken. Wait, let's do that. I forgot. We cooked the chicken. Let's give old Mickey the chicken. Right, have your chicken in your own time, when you're ready. Food in... I really don't like feeding these. They are so rude. Uh, where is the chicken? There you go. Have your fried chicken. That's more like it. This tastes exactly like that place is. Wow, what's the name? Vicky doesn't know either. Still, it really hit the spot. That's what a scout is for. Scouting for good food. Keep them coming. Oh, you will have to ask because I really dislike you and you're going to have to be starving hungry before I feed you again. Thank you, goodbye.
This is where I'm ending today's video. Thanks for watching. Hit like while you're here, pop me a comment down below and sub if you've yet to do so. Check out my other videos. There will be something there that you enjoy. Until next time, ciao for now.